this is Dr. Duke of The Dr. Duke Show. Today I'm talking with Yvette Hampton of Schoolhouse Rocked, a really new, interesting uh, pro-homeschool movie that's under construction, so to speak, right now. Uh, Yvette, you and your husband Garrett are working on this movie together. Uh, before we talk about Schoolhouse Rocked, let's talk about your experiences as a teacher in California and how this idea came to you and your husband. Sure. Well, we're from California. Uh, that's home to us. It has always been home to us. And actually, my husband um, taught in California. But before he taught film in California, he worked as um, a motion control technician in the Hollywood film industry for many years. And um, after many years of doing that and being gone and away from the family for uh, a l big length of time, he was always gone. Um, he quit that industry, loved what he did, but just didn't feel like it was right for our family. So he went on to teach film. And um, in 2016, well, we had felt for a really long time like the Lord was just leading us out of California, but we didn't know where we would go. That was home. That was where our family was, our friends, our church, everything. And so we felt for a long time like it was just time to go. It was time to go. It was time to go. And so in 2016, um, he he was he quit his teaching job and we just knew that it was time. And the Lord at the same time put the idea of filming Schoolhouse Rocked on his heart. And so long story short, we sold everything. We sold our house. We sold everything in it, loaded our two daughters and ourselves up into a little travel trailer and left California on December 15th. And um, we've traveled the country since then. We have um, we have filmed across the country homeschooling. And the whole idea behind the movie is really that we wanted to show what homeschooling was not just in California, but across the country. And California, we just felt like everything that we were in favor of as a conservative Christian family, California was against us. Everything that we were opposed to, they were in favor of. And so we felt like it was just a constant battle between us and, and the government. And when we really stepped back and looked at what our future was looking like for our family and for our girls, we thought, you know, we don't want our girls to to settle here and marry here and end up being here and feeling like we have to stay. We really wanted to just kind of break that chain. Now, you, w from the beginning, had you homeschooled your kids ever since they were born or did you have them in public schools for a while? When we were growing up, homeschoolers in our mind were weird. Uh, you know, we grew up in the 70s and the 80s and we thought it was kids were just weird. And so we said we would never do that to ourselves or to our family or to our children. And then when it came time to put our oldest daughter in school, uh, she was going into her kindergarten year and we had to figure out what we were going to do with her. And so we thought, well, we looked at the public schools in our area and, and they weren't just unsafe emotionally. They were unsafe physically and spiritually. And so we thought, well, we can't put her in public school. And at the time, um, in God's perfect timing, I was pregnant with my youngest daughter. And so I, I couldn't work and, you know, put her in private school. And so we thought, well, we'll try this homeschooling thing for a year. It's kindergarten. How hard can that be? And so that summer before we started homeschooling, we went to a homeschool convention. And that weekend alone, Rick Green was actually the speaker. And that weekend, it was like the scales fell from our eyes. And we realized what an incredible opportunity we had to reach into the hearts of our children and really teach them the truths and the values and the morals that we held, because we realized that no one else was going to do that for us. And so we started homeschooling. This is our ninth year of homeschooling now. Yeah, I've met lots and thousands and thousands of homeschool moms and dads. It's fair to say I have never wet, met one, not one single homeschool mom who ever regretted, regretted it. No. And I, I assume we could account you in that category, too. Absolutely. Yes, I, we we went from saying, you know, well, we'll try it this first year to now we are lifelong homeschoolers and now we're making a documentary about it. I was going to say, and so much so that you actually have decided to use your uh, husband's uh, career as a uh, working in film and your passion to put together a movie that's going to talk about this. What's the premise of your movie? Love the title. Anybody who grew up in the 70s like we did knows what Schoolhouse Rock is. So Schoolhouse Rock is a great title. Tell me a little bit about the premise of your movie. Sure. It's the, the full title is Schoolhouse Rocked uh, with an ED at the end. Um, it's Schoolhouse Rocked, the homeschool revolution. And really, the whole movie is to debunk all of those misconceptions and negative stereotypes that people have about homeschooling like we did. Because, again, we said we would never homeschool. And it was because we didn't really understand what homeschooling was and what a great opportunity it was for our family and for our kids. And so 
once we realize that we, you know, it's, it's like when you read a really good book or watch a really great movie, you want to share it with everybody you know. You just tell everyone, you've got to see this movie, you've got to read this book. Homeschooling allows us to say to the child, what sort of life do you want? What sort of God-given dreams, talents, and abilities is he speaking into you? When we think about classroom education and we ask what makes for good education, almost every professional educator will say low student-teacher ratio, teachers who care, good methods, good curriculum. Well, in homeschooling, you get the best of all of those things. What we discovered is that it's very efficient to homeschool. You have the person who knows the student the best. You have the ability to customize the curriculum around the student. You have a great student-teacher ratio. And I realized I am accomplishing with Sierra in 25 minutes to an hour every day what is taking the school system eight hours a day, five days a week. Parents, I mean, I know you talk about it all the time. I, I listen to your show. And parents are, they're scared right now. They don't know what to do. They know that there's a problem. They know that there is there are serious things going on in our culture and our children are being indoctrinated in a way that teaches them everything that's contrary to the word of God. And the public school system, it, you know, I felt like when we were kids, it was bad. And we, the, the fear was that they were going to be taught evolution. Well, okay, we can kind of deal with that at home. But now it's gone so much further than that. And so parents need hope. They need to know when that there is an option. Homeschooling is legal now in all 50 states. It didn't used to be, but it is now. And just give them that hope that they can do that. If if God has given you children, he has called you to disciple their hearts and to, to teach them your values and morals. And he's going to equip you to be able to accomplish all that he's called you to do in parenting them. And so we really want to give courage to those parents who are just feeling... Like they can't do this. Um, they're not really sure if this is a good idea for their family. And so what we've done is we have interviewed parents all across the country. We've interviewed um, curriculum developers, university professors, kids, college students. Um, we, we've gotten a whole, uh, just a, a wide range of, of background on homeschooling and Honestly, I'm just, I'm a homeschool mom, you know, I'm, I'm now movie producer, but really my, my real job is homeschool mom. And so we want to just show them that it's something that anybody can do. It's not for the rich and famous. It's not for any particular class of people. Anybody can homeschool. There are enough resources out there and, and it's, it is such a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to have a great relationship with our kids, teach them what we want to teach them. And, um, and train them up uh, the way that God's called us to do so. Sounds very much like it's a documentary, right? With interviews it is a and documentary. arguments. Good. And yes. uh, how far along is the movie in terms of production? You're producing, your husband's directing. Where are you in the process? Yes. So we're done filming, which is a, a really big deal. It has taken us three years with travel and getting you know, funding just for production to get to the point where we finished filming. I know you're familiar with Heidi St. John. Um, we just spent, the well, through the summer, we were gone for three months and we traveled 7,000 miles around the country and back and we went to Washington State and finished filming the narrative of the movie with Heidi. And so the narrative will be Heidi and I telling our journeys of homeschooling and how we reluctantly came into homeschooling and now what it has done for our families and encourage others to do the same. And then bringing everyone else and all, all of the other interviews to tie into the narrative of the movie. So it's, it will be an entertaining movie, um, not funny entertaining, but I think very engaging. So we're done with filming. We've gotten through production and now we're in the post-production phase, which is editing, pulling the movie together, bringing in a composer, a colorist, a second editor, and all the people that you see in the credits of a movie. So that's the, the stage that we're at now is post-production. And that can get a little expensive. So I know that uh, uh, there are ways that people can help donate to see this movie forwarded along. It's an important movie. We need more of this kind of thing. And we, we know it's, it's, we it's going to be professionally done. And you, you've shot a lot of film. Uh, so how can people who, if they want to help you in this post-production stage, move this along so the movie gets out quicker? Who, where, where do they turn? How do they reach you? Yes, thank you for asking that. Um, they can go to schoolhouserocked.com. And if you just go uh, just to the main page, you'll see a big button that says donate here. And people can make a tax deductible donation um, through the website. Um, we right now, as far as what we're looking for, is we need about $197,000 to get through post-production. And then when post is done, we'll need um, our P&A budget, which is marketing. And once the movie is completely done, how do you plan to release it? So it will be in theaters nationwide, um, and it will be a one or two night only event. 
and it, it plays, you know, on the same night throughout the country. Um, and then after that, it will be on streaming media, you know, hopefully Netflix and um, iTunes, Amazon, all those things, um, and then DVD as well.